Hey everyone, this is my new gaming setup slash workstation area slash, uh, I don't know, everything else that I do here. Uh, I bought a new desk that I wanna show you guys. I also wanna show you how I cable managed uh, and uh, basically hid pretty much every cable down there. We have two monitors and uh, those of course require uh, video cables to connect to the graphics card. We also have the uh, power cable for the computer here. I hid all of the uh, soundboard cables, including the mic cable. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I did all of that and talk about some of the stuff I used to clean all of this up. You can do the same if you follow these steps. Stay with me. If you're sick of seeing that same activate Windows watermark over and over, snag an OEM license from SCD Key. You'll have a fully activated OS in seconds and you can kiss that watermark goodbye. And be sure to use money offer code GSL for that sweet discount. So to start off, what kind of desk is this? I always look for L-shaped desks. I just like how versatile they are. You can really take advantage of an entire corner of your room and you'll end up with a ton of real estate to use for working, uh, for maybe laptops and a couple monitors and a desktop, which Oh, this is a tower, but it belongs on the desk. Anyway, uh, this is from a brand called Turaves or Turaves, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's a reversible L-shaped desk, which I thought was really cool because one side is actually longer than the other. And a few L-shaped desks I've used in the past are not reversible in the sense that you can't switch which side is longer. Uh, so it's nice that you have that versatility in this one. You also get a couple of shelves included with these desks. And I think that's pretty handy. If you got some books, maybe you can put those down here. Maybe some bookshelf speakers. Uh, I don't know, just textbooks. Who knows? You got tons of space, do whatever you want with it. I should, uh, should probably have peeled these off before filming. And another thing, these are very sturdy desks. I know that's probably one of your concerns. Buying a desk off of a site like Amazon is probably questionable. They're not super cheap, about 250 bucks for this particular desk here, uh, but still considerably cheaper than, you know, if you had bought from a site like Wayfair or if you'd walked into, say, Ashley's Furniture or something like that, you're gonna pay five, 600 bucks for a solid uh, computer desk. Granted, those are typically made a lot better than these, uh, but if you're just looking for something that's structurally sound, I mean, this, this ain't going anywhere, folks. A few other things you might want to be weary of. Shipping, not the best. Uh, it was packaged fairly well, but I mean, you never know. They ship with FedEx, UPS, God knows who else. And uh, these can be tossed around a lot. You'll get small little nicks like this more than likely in the texture. This is the dark oak color here. So if you want to buy this one, you know where to look. It's also linked down below in the video description. Uh, but I'm, I'm okay with, you know, overlooking these small little you know, nicks and dings. It, it's it's not bad. I don't see any splits anywhere in the wood and that's definitely a good thing. Now, if you're wondering how the heck I managed to cable manage, I, I need to think this stuff through before I say it. Uh, you gotta come under here. It's actually fairly simple and extremely affordable. So literally all I've done is taken some channels that I've also linked below. They're just uh, plastic composite channels that are actually fairly durable, difficult to cut through. So you'll need a Dremel or something like that. Uh, to cut them down to size. They come in fairly long stents, so you'll probably need to cut them for desks like these. Uh, but I've taken those channels and I've just taped them. Basically, I've uh, you did use double-sided uh, 3M tape and uh, adhere them to the bottoms of these desks. I also took, because my two monitors don't have integrated AC adapters, unfortunately, took some more of that 3M tape and taped the adapters to the bottom of the desk. Those are really bulky and can really look terrible, uh, especially if they're just hanging underneath the desk and your desk doesn't have a back cover. That's the other thing about this desk. I wish, obviously, it had some sort of cover that went all the way down. Even if it was really thin plywood, that would um, really take the stress out of cable managing. But in the event you just have bare wall underneath your desk exposing all of your wires, you'll want to use these channels. I'm gonna show you a close up of what they look like. So this is literally all it is. You can see it's uh, fairly thin, but still fairly sturdy. I can't bend it or anything except for the loose part up top. There's cat hair stuck to this one. The adhesive that comes with uh, the channel is good enough as is, uh, but if you're gonna plan on reusing it, you're gonna wanna put some double-sided 3M sticky tape or something here. Uh, and that's all I did. And I just adhered it straight to the bottom of the desk. Sorry about that, Nate. I'm sure I'm throwing off cameraman hardcore here. And then all you gotta do uh, is shove the cables basically into these, you know, the space, yeah. You know, and you, you basically move them into this opening. They'll slop down. And that's what I've got going on under the desk. That's literally it. That's all it takes. And then uh, again, if you have uh, external AC adapters, you'll want to adhere those to the bottom of the desk as well. Be careful, those can get pretty hot and that might affect the stickiness of the material you're using to, to adhere it. Uh, but these are tried and true. I've used these in many desks, many setups I've built over the years. 
and uh, they do a really good job cleaning things up and keeping those cables from hanging down, which look terrible. So that's about it. I don't mean for this video to seem super short, but I posted pictures of the setup on Twitter and a lot of you seemed interested. Uh, you wanted to know maybe what kind of desk I was using. Maybe you wanted to know how I was managing my cables. This is it, folks. These are super cheap and uh, fairly easy to work with. Uh, so get yourself some 3M tape. I've linked that down below. The exact stuff I've used, actually it's right here. Uh, I don't even know if it's 3M, but it's, you know what I mean. It's like a gooey double-sided tape and it works really well. It's actually what I use to keep the foam tiles on the ceiling. So I use some of that and uh, that's just kind of like peace of mind to keep these from falling down. And that keeps the cables out of sight as well. So if you want to set up like mine, maybe by the desk, by these channels, check them all out below and let me know what you think about this setup. If you guys like the video, thumbs up, click the subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. My name's Greg. Thanks for cable managing with me.